Hey everyone, Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel. Last year a couple of you asked me to do a flip through so I thought it would be a good way to start off 2019 by flipping through last year's planner. So I'm a week behind everybody using their new planners because my planner was late arriving and also my partner put my lights up into the loft. He thought that they were Christmas decorations inside so when he was putting the boxes back in the loft after I put all of the decorations up he'd put the lights up there as well bless his little heart and I couldn't get back in the loft to get them out or anything because in our loft we don't have a loft ladder it's kind of like a jungle gym mission just to get up into the loft which is why he does it and I don't I rarely go in the loft I've been in the loft once and I got stuck it was um, on a Christmas that he was working and I was here with my daughter and I got up there to get the Christmas decorations done and then I got stuck in the loft for, it was like 45 minutes. I was up in the cold loft and I was so scared, I couldn't get down. So I got my daughter to ring at my partner at work. I mean, he couldn't do anything, he was at work. I just needed him to tell me the steps on how to get down. And it was horrendous. And yeah, I've never done that again. So I couldn't get up in the loft to get them back down. And like I say, my planner was late arriving, so I couldn't even film the first week because it wasn't even here. I will show you my planner at the end and I'm really excited to kind of get into it and start using it. I've also got a new setup that I'm filming in. So I used to be on the floor filming and I used to have to get my lights out, put everything up, put the board down, tripod, all that kind of stuff. Which you'll know if you're a YouTuber yourself, then you'll know what it's like to drag everything in and pack it all away after. But now I'm filming on a desk, so I'm not on the floor. I feel like I've upgraded hugely and also my lights are constantly up kind of out of the way but they're constantly up and my tripod's constantly up so it all stays out which means I can film whenever I want it doesn't matter what time or anything because I haven't got anything out so I'm really excited and hopefully the lighting is okay and everything works okay if not I'm gonna have to adjust it so let me know down in the comments if the lighting's okay if the sounds okay just let me know I also haven't had any new releases in January yet as I've broken my drawing tablet that I use on Photoshop. It's broken so I'm trying to fix it, if not I need to go and buy a new drawing tablet so it might not be that I have any new releases in January, I haven't quite figured out how else I'm going to do it. I did try to draw without my drawing tablet and it was a complete mess so I definitely need my drawing tablet back in my life as soon as possible. As far as New Year's resolutions go, obviously I want to get more healthy. I think everybody has that resolution up until maybe January the 22nd and then that kind of goes out the window. So for me, I'm going to be tracking it hopefully weekly in my planner. I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate yet, whether I'm just going to be using a habit tracker in my sidebar or just marking day down the days that I want to work out or do whatever the exercise is that I'm doing or wanting to do on that day. I haven't really planned that out yet, but I'm going to be trying my best to make it last until at least February. And my other resolution is to spend more time with family and friends. So as you know, I got a job, I think it was in November. So I've been struggling with trying to balance everything. So doing my normal work, doing my YouTube channel, doing my Etsy shop, obviously being a mum to three children and being a fiance and keeping the house tidy, keeping on top of laundry. I mean, I could go on. So I found it really hard to kind of balance everything. Something is always kind of slipping behind. So I want to try and find a new balance and just spreading myself evenly around. <laughs> If you guys have made any New Year's resolutions, let me know down below and let me know if you think you are going to stick with, to them 100% like my fitness one or my kind of health one will die off. I know it will because it, it happens every time. I'll go through fits and bursts of saying, okay, I'm going to exercise so many times a week and I'll do really well for a few months and then it will kind of slip off. But I'm going to try my best this year.
The other thing that I'm going to be doing is the 52 week saving challenge. So it's where you put some money aside every week and then by the end of the year you've saved up a certain amount. That I'm definitely going to be tracking in my planner so you'll see my pop it saving stickers. I think I'm going to use those to track it. Maybe in my sidebar or maybe like on the weekend kind of um, boxes. I'm not sure yet but I'm definitely going to be tracking that this year to save some money towards either Christmas or putting it towards like a holiday for the year after. I've also decided that my plan with me's will go up on a Tuesday instead of a Monday. It just makes it a little bit easier for me because I'm at work Friday all day and then I'm at work Monday all day. So I managed to kind of film the plan with me on the Saturday or Sunday, but it's always the voiceover that I struggle with because I've got everyone here at the weekend. So if I do it on a Tuesday, I can do my voiceover on a Tuesday. It's nice and quiet and that way I can get it up every Tuesday. So hopefully that's okay with everybody. I just want to make sure I told you that I'm swapping it from Monday plan with me's to Tuesday plan with me's. At least for now anyway, it may change, but I'm just gonna try and do that for now. And that way I can try and keep up to date with everything. So for my new planner, it's another happy planner because I really do love the happy planners. They're really versatile and they just kind of meet my needs. This is the nautical planner, I think it was, or the sea seaside planner. I can't remember, but I've only got a 12 month one. It is dated, but it's just so tiny compared to my big chunk of a one that I had for 2018. It feels like a tiny newborn baby. It's so thin and flimsy at the moment. I'm pretty sure it's going to get full up once we start using it this year. So I thought I'd give you a flip through in case you've never seen inside one of these ones before. I really love the colours in here, it's really calming and I love the beach. The seaside is my favourite place to be. I got engaged on a beach as well so it means a lot to me, any beaches. So this is what the monthly sections look like, pretty similar to what they did before. And then for the weekly section, the only difference really is that the dates along the top aren't in bold and then down at the side in the sidebar, it's like a dotted bullet journal. But yeah, I'm very excited to use my new planner and my new filming setup. I hope you guys have all had a fab new year and I can't wait to see what 2019 brings us all. See you next time. Bye.